Behind bars once again after a judge revoked his bond today. As Gabby Easterwood tells us, Morales is accused of reckless manslaughter for his involvement in the car crash that killed 18 year old Devaney Rooney last May, just days before she was set to graduate from Theodore High School. Well, his bond was revoked today after he was caught driving, which is in violation of his bond. He also pled not guilty to manslaughter. 22 year old Yaderek Morales back in handcuffs today after his bond was revoked by Judge Young Peter. I'm glad the will of justice finally going in the right direction. The judge says he violated his original bond, which was set back in July when he pled not guilty to homicide by vehicle. This violation being when he was caught driving a vehicle after being pulled over and given a warning for driving without a license. The defense argued it was an illegal stop. Well, the officer stated he was looking for a specific color vehicle that had a tag. Our vehicle was a different color and had a tag. Um, so that was our contention. Morales driving one of the four vehicles involved in the crash on Schillinger Road last May, which killed 18 year old Devaney Rooney. Morales has been accused of driving 70 miles per hour in a 35 zone that day while under the influence. We just expressed it seemed extreme sympathy for the Rooney family. You know, I, it was just a horrible auto accident. Rooney's parents in court today fighting back tears. Relieved Morales is going back to jail. Extremely happy. <laughs> Extremely. I wanted him back in jail so bad and it happened finally. I don't want to ever see his face again. Emotions for the Rooney's were high while inside of the courtroom for another reason, though, because just two days ago was the one year anniversary of the wreck, the day that changed their lives forever. This was totally uncalled for 100%. My daughter should have been able to make it home and live her rest of her little life, spread her little wings like she was fixing to do and everything. As for when the grand jury trial will be held, the date has not been set yet for that. Reporting in downtown Mobile, Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.